Hello everyone, this is Herotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix for the PS3. Previously, Aqua started her part of Enchanted Dominion. She has teamed up with Prince Philip and escaped from Maleficent's castle. Now it's time for a nasty boss. Blizzara, Thunder. Still need Blizzard Edge for Leaf Bracer. Now to head south to Aurora's castle. Well, hello up there. Uh, a forest of thorns shall be your tomb. Wound round the castle in a bower of doom! I don't like that spell, Maleficent. Not one bit. <laughs> Maleficent! What did Master Xehanort tell you? Such a pity, child, that you don't have Terra's gift for obedience. <laughs> Nor can you see how easy it was for him. Terra would never do anything to help you. Quite the contrary. He fully embraced the darkness within himself. Stop lying! See for yourself all the powers of hell! <laughs> I don't want to. Well, well. She's turning into a dragon. Now she really is a dragon lady. Someone call Erdrick for help. Team up with Prince Philip and defeat Maleficent. Safer off to the side here. Fire. Look out for shock waves. Fire. Especially that. No. Fire. Here. And look out for her fire breath. Best if you get behind the prince. Do square, and then X for selfless prince. Take that, Mal. Fire. Fire. Now she's taking off. Go. Enjoy some yeah. shot lock, Mal. I won't follow up. We need to be near the prince again for her run. Square. And then X to get up onto her back. She didn't stick around for the finish. Take that, Mal. And once again. Fire. 
gotcha Maleficent, we obtained a bonus, maximum HP increased, and learned Firestorm. Very good, Aqua. Are you feeling poorly, Maleficent? Bye-bye. Too bad it's not really the end of her. Time to go get the girl. of true love that defeated you. I will not be defeated by something as insignificant as love. You don't even know the first thing about it. You're too clouded by darkness to see that there's something greater. Wakey, wakey, Sleeping Beauty. Try all you want, but you'll never defeat a heart filled with light. Perhaps. But remember one thing. As long as there is light, there will be darkness. And in time, many more will be drawn to it. And they will all belong to me! <laughs> Tara. You better stay strong for me. What a wonderful witch. And Aqua has obtained Fairy Stars. And Xehanort's Report 6, an excerpt from Xehanort's writings. Well, well, a cutscene in space. Oh. Tara, where's he going? Hmm. That completes Enchanted Dominion. For all characters. And we have a new, very familiar looking world unlocked for Aqua. A hundred percent completion in Treasures for the Enchanted Dominion. Very nice. Back to the other deck. Alrighty. And let's land again. Together, Aqua and Philip escaped captivity and battled Maleficent in dragon form. With true love's kiss, Philip woke Aurora from her sleep. Very nice. Hello, Command Shop. I now have Fire Dash. Stun Edge, Confusion Strike, Cura, Fyra, Binding Strike, Ice Barrage, Ignite, and High Jump. Let's go ahead and get a couple of fires. So we can make Fyraga with once more.
Now let's check out the forest clearing. Ah, uh, hello ladies. Even with Mino Maleficent gone, I don't want to go anywhere near that dreadful castle. Oh, why not? There's a delightful shop there. You simply must visit. We brought Aurora here to the forest when she was just a baby and raised her as our own dear niece. To hide her from Maleficent, we named her Briar Rose. Oh, I just love happy endings. Such a romantic, eh? Let's see if we can get that leaf bracer learned. Hello, enemies. And we have more enemies. Blizzard Edge levels up, level 3. And Payback Surge levels up as well. And Magnet levels up. Very nice. Goodbye, enemies. Simply delightful. Auto ability acquired. Blizzard Edge has reached the maximum level, so its Leaf Bracer ability is now yours to keep. Very nice indeed. Also, our Magnet's at level 2. So we can do a bit of melding with that. With our level 3 Magnet. That gives us a Magnera. And we'll throw in a Shimmering Crystal to get Magnera with Cure Boost. Magnara with Cure Boost. And we have now learned Blizzard Edge. So let's level up those fires a bit. We now have Cure Boost. Can we get inside the castle as Aqua? Gotcha. No. Gotcha. Bye-bye. Level 9 strength increased. Fire our levels up now. And barrier surge levels up. Fire levels up now. Very nice. Fleeting Crystal. Congrats on level 9, Aqua. And let us see. This fire is leveled up. So we'll put in the other one. Hello, enemies. Time for Betty Bye. Pulp 
pulsing crystal obtained. There is nothing down this way. Well, pook. At least we have that Leaf Bracer ability. And a little more money. Now we have some new stuff. Including the Fairy Stars. Better magic? Why not? We have a new command style. Firestorm. Activate with fire commands. You are fired. Now reports. Story. Enchanted Dominion. There is no way Terra would hurt somebody like that. Aqua followed the echo of Van's voice and found him face to face with Maleficent. The evil fairy had told him Terra had stolen someone's heart, but Aqua quickly stood up for Terra. Van was reassured, but the second she asked him to return home with her, he ran off. Maybe she, uh, maybe she should have asked him to join her. Aqua turned to face Maleficent, but had walked right into a trap. She was sent plummeting into the dungeon below, and there she met Prince Philip. He was trying to save his beloved Princess Aurora, who had fallen into an endless sleep as a result of Maleficent's curse. Together, they escaped the castle, but Maleficent was so enraged, she transformed into a dragon and attacked. A fierce fight ensued, but the three good fairies cast an enchantment on Philip's sword, which flew, swift and sure, into the dragon's heart. With a shriek of agony, Maleficent vanished. Philip walked up to Aurora's bedside. He leaned down and kissed her gently. Slowly, the princess's eyes opened. True love's kiss had broken the curse. Outside, Aqua once again encountered Maleficent, but could not convince her of the power of love. So long as people like Terra could be bent toward darkness, others would arise to serve her. And with that, she disappeared from sight. Nasty fairy. We now have a secret report. Ansem, Xehanort's Report 6. Not Ansem, Xehanort. There are three families of Keyblades. The Keyblades of Light we wield, Keyblades of Darkness, and Keyblades of Heart. The first and second families differ only in origin. Keyblades of Darkness are found in the Realm of Darkness, and are counterparts to the Keyblades we use in the Realm of Light. The third type of key, the Keyblade of Heart, came into existence when the world was reorganized after the Keyblade War. Without this key, Kingdom Hearts is forever beyond a person's reach. Only by gathering together seven hearts of pure light, hearts completely devoid of darkness, May one forge a Keyblade of Heart, and open the door to Kingdom Hearts. And, as stated before, opening this door arguably gives that person control over all worlds and all people. Now we have character files. Enchanted Dominion, Princess Aurora. A princess who fell into eternal slumber as a result of Maleficent's curse. Prince Philip woke her, however, with true love's kiss. When brought together, seven hearts of pure light, like Aurora's, are the key to ruling all worlds. The lovely Aurora. Then we have Prince Philip. The cheerful and likable prince of a neighboring kingdom. He met Princess Aurora when she was still living in the forest. Maleficent imprisoned him to prevent his and Aurora's reunion, but the three good fairies rescued him. In the end, he defeated, he defeated Maleficent in dragon form, and with true love's kiss, woke Aurora from slumber. Then we have Flora. The fairy dressed in red. While scatterbrained at times, she acts as leader of the three. Flora gave the newborn Aurora the gift of beauty. To keep her safe from Maleficent, 
The three fairies lived with the princess in a cottage in the forest for 16 years. Almost long enough. Fauna. The fairy dressed in green. She is the most level-headed of the three. Fauna gave the newborn Aurora the gift of song. To keep her safe from Maleficent, the three fairies lived with the princess in a cottage in the forest for 16 years. Hello, Fauna. And Merryweather. The fairy dressed in blue. She can be stubborn at times, and often bickers with Flora. Merryweather gave the newborn Aurora a ray of hope as her gift. To keep her safe from Maleficent, the three fairies lived with the princess in a cottage in the forest for 16 years. Definitely a colorful trio. And Maleficent, a terrifying evil fairy with the command of dark magic. She attended the celebration of Aurora's birth, despite not being invited, and prophesied that 16 years later, Aurora would prick her finger on the spindle of a spinning wheel and die. Maleficent's gleeful account of Terra's misdeeds has left Van troubled. And probably Aqua as well. The Dragon. Maleficent, after using the powers of darkness to transform herself. The green flames that leapt from her maw nearly spelled the end for Prince Philip and Aqua, but in the end, Philip's sword of truth flew swift and sure. Definitely a nasty dragon. The Unversed. We now have the Thornbite. Make no mistake, a Thornbite by any other name would still smack you around. Those vines lash out further than you might think, sending you flying if you don't watch it. Direct attacks cause these plant pests to start glowing and gain a dangerous burst of speed. Use magic commands to spare yourself the prickly predicament. Definitely prickly characters. Arch Raven. Usually these foes keep to the air, but if you see their bodies glow red, be ready for a quick lunge. Arch Ravens will make off with prizes lying in the field. Why? Because they like to. Use jumping or long range attacks to beat them to the punch. Particularly the homing fire spells. Alrighty. And treasures. We have collected all treasures from Enchanted Dominion. Very interesting. I wonder if we can get that one from Dwarf Woodlands. Let us go see. Now that we have High Jump, let's also put in Sliding Dash. Dwarf Woodlands. The Courtyard. Now let's see. Can we hop up onto the wall now? Yes, we can. Very nice. Here we are. And here's our chest with fish and Fairaga. Definitely we want this. Fish and Fairaga. Launch a ball of fire that explodes when it hits an enemy, catching nearby foes in the blast. Delightful. But for now, we'll put Barrier Surge back in. I want to level up the fires normally. 
Alrighty. So in the next episode, I think we'll go back to Terra and visit Yen Sid's tower. This is Heirat Lania. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.